So horror is a genre I've barely explored. I'm a pretty big wuss when it comes to scary movies, so I try and avoid this genre as much as possible. I know there's a lot of great films in this genre, so I'm trying to be brave and branch out and watch some of them. Today I'm going to watch the 1982 John Carpenter film, The Thing. I've only heard good things about this movie. It's been recommended a bunch of times, so I'm excited, although a little nervous to watch it. Um, I'm anticipating kind of like a sci-fi horror element. The Thing's a pretty ominous and vague title. Um, um, so I'm anticipating more of sci-fi than just straight horror. Um, if you have any other suggestions for horror movies, please comment below and let me know. And thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. Other than it being a John Carpenter film, I know nothing about the plot, I know nothing about the cast. Um, I don't know if there's sequels, um, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Is this based on a book? Comment below and let me know. Or is this something just John Carpenter created? Okay, yeah, sci-fi. Yeah, we got a spaceship. Okay, okay. Oh, a spaceship that's gonna crash into Earth, potentially? Ooh. I'm excited. I'm like, nervous, but also excited. I think it's gonna be super creepy. Um, but I think it's gonna be really well done. So I'm excited. Antarctica, okay, okay. Never been, never been. Um, Canada gets cold, but I know Antarctica gets much, much colder, and it just, it makes me cold thinking about how cold it would get. Uh, even in their, like, summers, I'm sure it's still very cold. <gasps> no, what's he doing? No! Why is he shooting at this dog? No, run, pup, run! Oh, come on. Okay, Science Institute. The music's very like bum bum. Like it's like the repetitive beat. It's making me feel like on edge. The puppy's like, be my best friend. Oh, oh, no. Oh, ouch. Why is he shooting at them? What's going on? What the heck, man? Oh, he just wants to shoot the dog? What's wrong with the dog? No. Can't start the movie by killing dogs. Come on, man. I'll never make it. Oh, okay, bye. Hey, thanks for thinking about it, though. So they're going to fly over to the Norwegian base to see what's Go going on. <laughs> Instead of a toque, he's going for a cowboy hat. This is real thin, Fashion it's over warmth. You know the way you're going. I like it so far. I'm definitely getting a sense of, like, isolation and there's no one really around to help them if they needed help and that there's something wrong and I really hope this dog doesn't have anything bad happen to him. Is this foreshadowing for later in the movie? Very superstitious, the writing's on the wall. Hmm. <laughs> I like movies where everything is done with intention and like everything has a reason. It's not just thrown together haphazardly. That doesn't look good. What's going on here? Are all the other research stations like this? That's why they haven't heard anybody in a few weeks? Oh, is Jack Torrance here? What's going on? There's a bloody axe in the wall. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a deep wound. Yep, that's. What the hell happened here? That's a deep wound indeed. I like the little like pockets of light, like that's their only real source of these little flashlights. It makes for a very creepy atmosphere for sure. Portable video unit. Watch a movie? It's, uh, like it's already kind of like setting my hair, like giving me goosebumps, just like making my hair stand on end. Uh, like, what are the other research stations like? Are they literally the only people left on this continent? Come here. Uh, a uh, giant bathtub? An igloo inside? What's going on? Uh, what are these? So they set it on fire themselves? They took the burn thing back with them? I guess they are a scientific research unit, that would make sense. I'm guessing it's some kind of alien 
with the spaceship at the very opening scene. Ugh. Ugh. It has like some kind of a face. Like there was teeth and ugh. Was it once a human and then was attacked by an alien? Oh, this puppy. Huh. What does he know? Ugh. Like the special effects are really cool. I really enjoyed them so far. Yeah, like whatever this creature thing is. Oh, it looks so gooey. Ugh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have a lot of entertainment options in the 80s in Antarctica. You didn't have Netflix, you didn't have YouTube, you just had VHS tapes in your imagination, I guess. There's no ladies in this film. I've only seen uh, male characters. There's been any female characters. That wind is very, uh, oh, it's just making me, making me cold. Oh. oh, oh, what, 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 oh my god, what's happening, what's happening, uh, it's pretty cool. But what's happening to this puppy? You get out of there, save yourself, be free. Uh, there's a lot of tentacles. Oh. Is he turning into like an alien spider? What's going on? Oh. Oh no, oh gosh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I hate it. Oh God, what was it? Poor dog. It looked like the only point of reference, and I know this is obviously based on other things, but it looked like in Stranger Things when that thing opens his mouth. I know obviously that came out much later than this, and that was probably inspired by this movie, but that's my like that's what I first thought of. <laughs> Are all the dogs gonna be infected now? Yep. Oh god. Oh the tentacles. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac was the what? That's what he said. Now the flamethrower. Okay, okay. They're not messing around. Oh, oh, oh! What? What? Oh, this poor dog. Oh God, it's like a dog spider alien thing. Uh, it seems so normal. Oh, 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 it's attacking the other dog. I love huskies. This was a terrible movie for me to watch. It's so well done. Like, these are amazing. Like, really, really well done. Oh. He's evolving? What? Oh my god, what is it becoming? It's just like constantly changing, changing shapes. Yes, burn it to the ground. Oh my god. I don't know why flamethrowers aren't used more in movies. They seem like a perfectly rational, you know, weapon. What was it? What was it? Was that the thing? I'm guessing the thing is whatever takes over the host, like whatever alien thing takes over the animal, human, whatever it is. I'm guessing that's what the thing is. Poor pup. Yeah, like it just, it's got like spider legs. I just, but still kept like its dog shaped face until its face opened up and then another face came out. Ugh. <sighs> what? So would it eventually turn back into a dog or is it like... Clark, it's yeah. so weird. Did you notice anything? Yeah, now they're gonna start suspecting each other of having whatever that virus was or alien was. Cause they seem normal until they it aren't basically. That's like what they saw at the Norwegian base. Hmm. 
Okay, so it takes over the properties of its host, whatever its dog, human, whatever it's trying to assimilate with. What? What? That's crazy. They can't let it leave Antarctica. It's definitely like a slow burn, like it's not an action-packed edge of your seat thriller. It's just more like slowly something creepy is happening and it's gonna get creepier and creepier, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Other than the dogs, I did not enjoy that. That was sad. They're not dead yet. So that means they would all have it technically because they were all near it? Uh, they can never go back to the States. They have to stay there and just let it take over. Uh, that's horrible. Oh gosh. Like yeah, it's a virus attacking you from the inside, but then seeing the tentacles like wrap around you. Oh. Uh. Oh gosh. Oh, you're just watching your friend. Oh god, that'd be horrible. Oh gosh. Yep. Just had to burn your friend alive because he's infected by an alien. Oh gosh. He loves this flamethrower and I am all for it. Yeah, it'd be so scary to know that some of you might be infected, some of you might not be infected, but you seem normal and there's no way to really know until it's too late. Oh, that'd be very scary. I can definitely see the parallels between some diseases and this situation. It's definitely a sci-fi horror movie and yes, the aliens are a bit literally out there um, but the virus that's something that could take over your body and imitate you that's creepy and that's something that could happen in real life captain's log kurt russell beard status still amazing nothing else i can do yeah i can see how that could be just mentally exhausting constantly questioning the people around you and questioning are they human are they aliens so they're worried the virus will like spread through food. Real close. It would make, like it is interesting to have the leader be the one who's infected. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. Oh gosh. Oh no. No, he's got it. So does that guy. Oh, they're not doing good. They did a really good job of like help capturing like the panic and like the uncertainty and just like how terrifying this situation would be. The frosty beard. Come on, child, burn me. What? Torches on the floor and back off. What? So if he has it, he's like, I'm gonna outlive this and take over everything. You asshole. Yeah, real dick move. Yeah, they don't have a way to figure out who's infected and who's not since the blood was contaminated. And this guy's holding onto a bunch of dynamite and is threatening to blow up the entire camp if anybody tries to mess with him. What are you more afraid of, insomnia or an alien virus taking over your body? Oh, 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 what? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, it's got his face with hair and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. It's so well done. That was incredible. With his arms, and then he bit off his arms. And his head, oh god, his head is turning into like, oh god. Oh. Ooh, his head's turning into like spaghetti noodles. And then just decapitated himself. Oh. Oh, that was my favorite scene from the whole movie so far. He's dragging himself across the floor by his tongue tentacle thing. Uh, uh. 
this is amazing. So creepy, so very, very creepy, but so amazing. <laughs> spider head, spider head, does whatever the rest of the body can't. My God, what was that? What was that? Can you imagine seeing your dead friend's head crawling towards you like a little decapitated spider thing? Blah, 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 blah. Not enough therapy in the world, my friends, to no, ever fully recover. Fucking kidding. Going in for the one liner. Oh, I thought he was going to say something really witty. Like, time's up or something. Ah, that's not witty. He just shot his friend. Yep. And we don't know if he's infected or not. But he's dead now. Shit, Mac. Finish it. Oh! Oh, I felt that. Oh, I felt that. Why did he have to, like, curve it? Oh, gosh. This movie is making me cold and scared and just creeped out. But also more interested in flamethrowers now, so that's that's a plus. Oh, by the nail? What's wrong with you? Why would you go? Ah, oh. Windows, and his name is Mac. I wonder if that was intentional. Probably not, but you know, still funny to me. The worst part's gonna be what do you do once you find out? You have to kill all your friends. Yep, you gotta torch him. You gotta torch him. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is amazing. Nope, run. Run away now. Oh. Bye. He's eating him head first. Oh god. Oh. Ah. Uh, what? Those faulty flamethrowers. Come on. Oh. Well, say goodbye. His eyes just like bulged out of his head and turned into like gooey little balls and then his whole head went It's amazing. The special effects are amazing. Burning man in the snow. Okay, if he wasn't already on fire, a stick of dynamite should do the trick. Jeez. Oh my gosh, you just blew up your friend. Yep. Yep. Bye. How has this whole station not been set on fire yet? Come on. Oh, they know their fates now. It's just sad. When the couch was in the air. Oh, God, that was crazy. Crazy. Can you imagine being tied to a couch while this guy's whole body is literally exploding? Uh, not, not, not me. Not, I'm, I'd be out. I'm not signing up for that vacation. I know there's a similar premise in other horror and other sci-fi movies, too, but I still really like it. I'm really enjoying this so far. I don't know how they're going to get out. Like, can they even leave because they may have been infected and might show signs later? Like, is that risky? I don't know. He Shawshanked his way out of there. He tunneled out. And it's interesting to have a horror movie with zero survivors. Like, if everybody dies at the end. Did they ever say what this team was supposed to be up there exploring in the first place? It would be such a hard mental thing to accept knowing that 
you're probably okay. You don't have this virus, but you can't leave because you might infect somebody else because they don't know enough about it. Also, you can't get anywhere because all your means of transportation are gone. Like, it would just be such a hard like thing to mentally accept that this is it for you. Like, you're done. What? Oh God, what is he doing? What is he doing to his face? He's putting his thumb like through his cheeks inside his mouth. Oh gosh. Oh. You know, I think we should have a movie where aliens are, you know, good. Nice, nice aliens. Actually, wasn't that an arrival? Were there good aliens in arrival? But there's not a lot of horror movies where aliens are, I guess those wouldn't be horror movies. There's not a lot of movies where aliens show up and are cool and just like want to hang out. It's always like murder, murder, alien invasion, brr, 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 like, I don't know, maybe. How's it coming in there? You know, it'd be a super dick move if he just abandoned this plan to blow everything up and was just like, forget it, I'm getting out of here and saves himself. <sighs> The tentacles from below. The teeth. Oh God. Oh God. A dog and a human. I don't. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what it is. Alley oop. Oh God. Oh. Fuck you too. Yep, that's fair. I wonder how long before anybody would come check on them. Not that there'd be much to see, but you know. Wait here for a little while. Yeah, like if they are infected at this point, the cold will get them probably first before the alien. They're like, we're just gonna sit here and drink and see what happens. Did he just infect him? I still think McCready was infected. Ah, it was so good! Wilford Brimley? The diabetes guy? I only know him as the old man from the diabetes commercials. Okay, so that was my first time watching the 1982 John Carpenter film, The Thing, and I loved it. It was amazing. The special effects were so good. The creatures, the slime, the goo, the aliens, all that, the splitting open of the faces, just really, really creative, really well done special effects. Um, I like the storyline of the alien virus cell literal thing taking over the body and it imitating the body. I thought that was really creative. Um, definitely a creepy premise to think somebody could be infected and you wouldn't know and there's no real test to find out, especially in such a secluded area like Antarctica. Uh, definitely added another element of horror to that. So really well done, super creative. I really loved it, um, especially for 1982. Like those special effects were amazing. Um, if you have any other suggestions for horror movies, please comment below. Hello. I'm really excited to do some research about this. I'm sure there was some subtle hints throughout the movie um, and I'm sure there's fan theories. This seems to be a very very popular movie. I'm looking forward to doing some research and learning as much as I can about this. So comment below if you know any trivia, if you've seen this movie. Uh, I'm really excited to learn more. Um, and if you have any other suggestions for horror movies, oh, comment below. And are there sequels? Are the sequels worth watching? Let me know. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Little. Spider head. There's a lot of tentacles. He's eating him head first.